Hey what's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. This is another little concert review video that I would like to share. And this is going to be on my thoughts of seeing Jeff Lynne, Jeff Lynne's ELO, last night at the Birmingham Arena with my brother because we went to see him in honour of my brother's birthday which will be next week. But he is a big fan of Electric Light Orchestra. And me, myself, being a Brummie, have not been supporting ELO enough. I know, I'm mad about myself because of that. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be shocked to hear that. Because I've been supporting the other Brummie bands. But I do like ELO, but after this gig, I would really want to listen to their stuff. And if you're hearing something in the background, I'm listening to an index of metals from... Fripp and Eno's album Evening Star. So, no ELO in the background. But needless to say, the concert was some of the funnest concert experiences I've ever seen in a long, long while. The support act was a guy named Billy Lockett. And his music is more of like a, a modern, personal, pop type of sound. Which I do like for. But um, I think his music was quite good in the sense that he wrote them by himself. He had two other guys backing him up to perform with him, and the crowd were digging it, and his dad, as Billy told the crowd, was a big ELO fan, at least that's something um, really surprising, because, I mean, it's such a, a lucky thing for him to support one of Birmingham's most important and popular greats. Uh, but when Jeff Lynn and his band came to the stage, uh, there were a couple of screens uh, behind them, but each of the screen displayed the infamous spaceship of uh, ELO, and each song that they played, the screen displays a lot of um, trippy, fun visuals of effects, and the lighting as well, there was a lot of flashing lights and strobe lights. The colours were really sweet, colourful. And we get to see uh, one screen on, on our side of the band playing. But um, the screens that were behind uh, the band and Jeff in the, in the centre uh, were displaying a lot of scenery to, as I said, like effects. And it was fantastic and the sound was perfect there's nothing that was too quiet or too loud the guitars sound really good the drums brilliant the bass the the keyboards the cello the violin and the backing vocals just everything from Jeff and his group were just so damn good Everybody performed so strongly from start to finish. Jeff Lynn made the sound uh, as big as ever with his band. The crowd went nuts. The energy was high. A lot of dancing and hand clapping. It was really, really fun. And I turned over to my left and my brother was miming the lyrics to a lot of ELO's songs. They did play a lot of ELO's tunes from the past to the present. And they did play a few from the Travelling Wilburys, because Jeff Lynne was a member of the Travelling Wilburys. So, I don't want to make this review way too short. Well, I guess I would like to finish it up in a minute, maybe in the next minute. But, if you are a fan of ELO, or Jeff Lynne in general, you need to see him, because he does put on an amazing show from start to finish. Big well done to the rest of the band, and to Jeff Lynne himself. If it wasn't for Jeff, he wouldn't have been writing some of the greatest music of all time and one of the the best songs from anybody who lives in Birmingham. So, yeah, I hugely enjoyed the show so damn much. Well done to Billy Lockett as well for his set. His set was about half an hour long, but Jeff and his band's set... Uh, was about like an hour and a half or close to two hours, but it was a fun experience. So on that note, I'm going to give this rating of the concert experience a 9.5 out of 10. And 
definitely see Jeff Lynn. You are in for a great, great surprise. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.